Hey everyone, Nashwalk Steve here with kind of a strange project for you. Um, I decided to do a little video on how I straighten my daughter's hair. So I am blessed to have three kids who are mixed race and have hair much more awesome than mine. So I get to learn how to do their hair and in this case I learned how to straighten my daughter's hair. Um, her hair is normally really curly and pretty thick and there you can see the finished product. It is nice and silky smooth. So that's what we're going to shoot for today. And there's little brother sporting a mohawk. Dude. Did that too. So we'll uh, show how we get started here. Um, I guess the first thing is getting the hair nice and clean. With a shower, getting it getting shampooed down to the scalp. And then getting it detangled really well. If you don't detangle really well, like all the way through, it ends up being really difficult when you go to straightening and try to detangle then. Because by then it's got to be pretty dry. So um, she did a good job of that. And we ended up with this final product. So we'll go ahead and uh, show the steps to straightening this girl's hair. Bye for now. All right, here is Lucy and here is the hair we're doing. So this is her hair right as it comes out of a shower. She did a good job of shampooing it down to her scalp, put some conditioner in, detangled it, and then rinsed that conditioner out really well. And so this first step, what we're doing here is sectioning this off into small chunks and then using the blow dryer and this round brush here to go through it and just get it dried out and as kind of initially straightened as possible just with the um, uh, hair dryer. And then after that, we'll go through with a flat iron and get it all the way straightened from there. So I'll show you what this looks like as I'm doing it when I have it sectioned off a little bit here. And my seven year old is gonna be videotaping, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> all right, so I've got her hair sectioned off now into the piece I'm gonna work on and the rest is just clipped on top of her head. I use these little clips here they seem to be fast and easy to use, so I can just clip the hair up on top and then work on the part I'm gonna work on. Can you bring it in here, Sadie, and show? So this is the first section I'm gonna work on here, using the round brush and the hair dryer to just kinda of grab it like this, and I'll pull it kinda of straight like that, and then use the blow dryer to straighten it out there and put some heat on it. So I'm gonna turn it on quick, and Sadie will videotape this just for a little bit so you see what it looks like. And then we'll just do that until the hair is completely dry. And then we'll bunch that part up, grab another section about an inch and a half or so wide on her head there, and then we'll dry that out too. Now we'll uh, finish this out, and then we'll go on to moving using the flat iron after that. All right, so I got a couple sections done here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and section off the next one. Like I said, about an inch and a half or so. I use this rat tail to section off that piece. You can get me now. Pull that down, take the rest and use one of these clips to put it on top of her head and get it out of the way. Like this. And then we got another section here to work on. So let's keep working our way all the way to the top of her head and that'll be it for the hair dryer. All right, so here's Lucy with her hair all blow dried. Went through each section, used that sort of drum-like brush and got through it so it's dry now and blow dried and rocking the 1980s style there. And so next we're going to go through, we'll divide it in half like I had before and then we'll section it starting at the bottom and use the flat iron. I'm using this kind of flat iron here and for her hair I have it set, I don't know, it's kind of like three quarter power sort of thing. It seems to work pretty well on her hair, it gets plenty hot. So. Um, and then you'll see as I go through and section it off, I'm putting a little bit of oil in it too. This is the oil we're using, an argon oil. Um, I actually put that in right away when she came out of the shower just to give it some oil in there to start off with and then did a final sort of detangle through it with that to make sure the oil was spread throughout her hair. So that's it, we'll get it tied up and start flat ironing it. Lucy's hair right now, I've got this bottom piece sectioned off. I've got one half of it over here and the part on this hemisphere that I'm not using, I have it all clipped up top like that. So now what I do here is I use this oil like I said, I don't spray it directly on the hair because I found you get really wet spots and really dry spots doing that. So I put a little bit in my hand, a couple squirts it together and then I can just work it through the hair like that. Get a little bit in there and then I take this little comb and go through it, make sure there's no tangles in there. So when I go through with the iron, it's nice and smooth. I like to go upside down like that. And then bring the iron into the picture here, like this. Start near the base, nice and slow, <coughs> work our way down. 
and like magic it goes in curly and it comes out and nice and straight just like that and we'll don't forget up. me and don't forget jude <laughs> and then we'll just bunch that part up we'll bunch that part up and then we'll go on to the next section and keep working our way toward the top of her head on this half all right so here's the next section up i went through put the oil in and now i want to show when i have a wide piece like this across her hair i split it into a couple sections and do it that way just so it fits nice and easily in the flat iron. So we'll go ahead and straighten this piece out. And the next piece, Lucy gets to use her finger to hold her ear down so we don't burn her ear again. <laughs> Learn that the hard way, right? Yep. I just took something out. And don't forget me! So don't forget Jude. I like you too. All right, so here Lucy's got her finger on her ear just to hold that down. Let me go ahead and straighten this piece out. Sorry if my arm's in the way there. We really give the ends a little extra attention because they like to still curl the most, so to get them to lay nice and stick straight, they get a little extra half second or so of heat time. All right, we'll keep working our way up. All right, here is the near finished product. Lucy's hair is nice and straight, nice and shiny all the way down to the ends of the hair here. The only thing that makes it like 95% complete, complete is that we need to do something about her baby bangs up here, kind of these flyaways here. So what we have is this little pencil iron which has been the best little addition to the hair arsenal in the house it's a little tiny uh, flat iron that heats up super fast and we're able to just grab these little hairs up top here like this just get a few at a time and run that on them and that straightens them right out so i lost my camera woman here to bedtime so i'm gonna do this and uh, show what it looks like as a final product all right so here what we're gonna do we just take this little rat tail again take a really thin section of the front Kind of separate that out from the rest. So we'll work on this. I'll start with the top. Take a little chunk like this. Make sure there's no snags in it at all. And then just take our nice little pencil iron here. Try not to burn her. Run it down the hair like that. And then grab the next section below that. Keep them separate here. Pretty good for that side. Just a little tiny sideburns here too. Make sure those are touched up. That's it for that side. And then we'll just go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. And that's going to be pretty much it for now. Uh. All right, here is the final product. It's Nashwalk Lucy with her nice straight hair. She's going to twirl around and show you what it looks like. Nice and straight hair. And now that we've straightened your hair, Lucy, what is the number one rule for straight hair? Don't get it wet. What happens if you get it wet? It curls. And then what do I have to do? You need to straighten it again. Another hour and a half gone. So we try to keep <laughs> it dry and we do it just usually in the winter time when we're not in the lake and getting wet and dealing with rain and that sort of thing. So that's it for this video. That's how to straighten hair that is very curly and you want it nice and straight for a different look. And then me doing that kind of video. <laughs> 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 <laughs>